Don't you asking me, but I can't accept. You can't change your mind now. Calling your mind, Clint. Just because I let you walk me home from school a couple of times what? didn't mean anything. You got the wrong what? idea. Why, well, I'm sorry. You, you, don't under, you don't understand, Ellie. I'm building a house for you if you just come and look at it. That wouldn't hardly be proper since I just got engaged. Walt Norton gave me last night. We aim to get married soon, school's out. You can't marry nobody else, Ellie. I ain't gonna stand for it. You hear me? I hear you, Clint Ringo. All these months I've been calling for you, building a house, and waiting for the school to let out. I didn't make you any promises. You never give me a chance to ask you. You had I'd have said no. I'm marrying Walt Norton. That's the end of it. No. No, it ain't. Yes. All right, Clint. But you hear about me and Ella? Uh, I was just telling it. It don't make no difference what she says. She ain't marrying nobody unless it's me. You you just give back the ring, Ellie, because you ain't marrying him. Well, give it back, you hear me? What's the matter with you? Don't you touch it, Clint Ringo! Pony stand here. Maybe we better go back to the school and get organized. Somebody shine a light over here. My lanterns went out. Oh, never mind. I found it. Let's go. Oh, I fooled them. I should thought I was a goner. Got to hold up someplace just for a couple days. They'll get tired, and then Ellie and me will go away. Where, where are you taking a look? I know a place. Right near Ellie. <laughs> Howdy, Sheriff. Hello, Elmer. Well, Sheriff, what do you think? Well, the way I see it, there's only two directions he can go, over the ridge or west of the state line. Might try the North Fork. Wouldn't ever make it. All this rain? Why, she's swole up till the banks won't hold her. Well, Elmer, do you want to take your boys and work over the ridge? Sure do. Well, the rest of them can come with me. But bound to flush him out in the morning. Well, whoever finds him, come back here and ring the bell. That'll draw everybody in. All right. Well, let's get moving.
children, now we're going to have some problems in long division. Who wrote that on the board? That was a mean, horrible thing to do. Which one of you is responsible? One of you boys did it, and I want him to be man enough to admit it. I'm waiting. Albert? No, ma'am. I never wrote it. Luke? No, Miss Marsh. Honest, I didn't. Please, ma'am. It was there when I came, and I was the first one in the room. Sally. Oh. Hello, Sheriff. I reckon it might be a good idea if I walked home with you. Just a moment. It's real nice of you, Sheriff, but I'm all right. Uh, don't need to take no chance as long as Clint Ringles in these parts. Likely three counties away by now. Yeah, never can tell. You know Sam Leggett said somebody slept in his haystack last night? Well, I was told by Walt's cousin Elmer that Ab Hall and Swayze saw him over Pottersville. Yeah, it's always the way. <laughs> People see him ten different places at once. He wouldn't dare show his face around here. I don't know. Young Albert Grinstead told me there was some writing on the blackboard this morning. Was there, Miss Ellie? Some silly scrawl. I'm sure when the children put it there. I'd like to look at it all the same. Well, I rubbed it off. It was just a prank. One of the boys. Well, if you say so. Ready? You wait, Ellie. I'll get you. You just wait. Next week, nobody will come to walk you home. It's working out real nice, ain't it? I got two days to catch up on my sleep. Then it'll be Monday. You won't be so pretty by then. By the time they find you, I'll be long gone, hard to find. And onto the ground. 
for out of it thou wast taken. For dust thou art, and unto dust shalt thou return. As Walter Norton lived, so let us remember him. Our Father, which art in heaven, 